Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, December 14, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades. So the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have broken down the last three trading days. We have gone from 3,713 all the way down to the 20 exponential moving average. This is a fall of 2.13%. This candlestick here, we, we basically broke down towards the 20 exponential and then rallied again. And this is a really encouraging sign. If we get rejected this heavily from the 20 exponential, that means that we most likely will curve uh, upwards uh, next week uh, and head towards uh, 3,700 and 3,800 and probably also 4,000 within the next uh, month and a half. So this is a very encouraging sign, even though these technical indicators are not looking very promising at this moment. The MACD is constant, the signal line, the stochastic is very bearish, the same goes for the CCI, and we are also on the edge of being overbought. So there are things here to watch out for, but this pullback at the end of this uh, Friday session is quite a promising uh, signal that buyers are willing to technically buy it here and are betting that this market is going to go higher. So there are things that are working against this market at this moment. Uh, for example, the appreciation of US dollar, stimulus, um, and probably also Brexit, maybe. But especially stimulus talks have stalled. They they just passed a bill that uh, would give them more time to negotiate. And usually that means that there is going to be a um, solution to that to those negotiation at some stage next week. And yes, that's just going to be positive for this. If we fall from here, then the 40 exponential is right here. And these are also the previous highs of way back in, where is this? This is in September. So that will offer support. And the 50, of course, is massive support. I don't think we even get that far. I think we we will stay here or we will rally up towards 7,000 from here and no, 3,700 from here. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So as you can see, we broke down all the way to the 20 exponential and now we have rallied again. So at this point, I think that we're heading back to these highs. And if we manage to take out this top, then we're going significantly higher. So the difference between the S&P and also the Dow Jones is that we are, we, are, we are on the edge of being overbought, but we're not as overbought as we are in the S&P 500. So there is some room to the upside. The technical indicators for the Dow Jones are also looking fairly uh, bearish at this point. The MACD is across the signal line. The same goes for the stochastic and also the CCI is looking quite um, quite bearish at this point. It's at 17. When we cross at uh, zero, that means that we're in bearish territory. So we're on the edge. So, but the rejection here at the 20 exponential is a sign that we are most likely going back to these highs. And if we manage to break above this, then we're going to uh, 31,000 uh, at least. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So as you can see, we have tested the 20 exponential moving average twice. And we got heavily rejected here at the end of the session. So this is at 12,256, give or take. And at the moment, we're at 12,348. So if we manage to take out this candlestick, the top of this candlestick, then we are heading back towards these very highs here of 12,659. And I'm pretty sure at the end of uh, December, we're at 13,000. That is where this market most likely is going. So technical gears for the NASDAQ are looking fairly bearish at this point. But this is a very encouraging sign. Last time we got rejected here, this happened. So we got this move from uh, 11,850 all the way up to 12,600 and 
60. That's 7%. Um, and, and roughly 833 points move within just two weeks. So that's a massive move. So these rejections at the 20 exponential are to be be uh, considered as very, very bullish shine for this um, indice. But if we break down from here, then 12,000 is enormous uh, uh, support. And the 40 exponential, uh, which is at the 40 exponential, will be enormous support. And underneath that, we have the 50 at 11,900. So even though we break down from here, there is a massive amount of support underneath. And that is an even better buying opportunity than at this 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at the new tech stocks. We'll start by Netflix. So Netflix rallied up towards the 50, broke down again, and now we're trading at we're trading at 500, just at 500. So technical indicators for Nest and Netflix stock are looking fairly bearish at this point. We are not oversold, not overbought. So casting is very negative. And the CCI is also getting into negative territory. And also the MACD is going to cross the signal line sometime next week. So this is very, not a very good sign for Netflix. Probably one of the reasons is that there is a new major competitor in exactly this market, which is Disney Plus, which is storming ahead at this point. And uh, if they manage to get more and more market um, market uh, share then of course that will drag this uh, this stock even lower so at this point the very lows are here at the 150 moving average that is roughly at uh, 485 at this point and the very highs are at 521 so if we roll over down here then this is a buying opportunity break down below here opens the door to much lower levels than 460. So Microsoft, we're up on nearly 1%. As I saw yesterday, as I said yesterday, the very lows here are the $208 share level. And uh, we have to get through the 50 moving average. We are struggling get it to get through that. But I believe that next week we are going to break that, that uh, price level. As you can see, the stochastic has reached the end of the uh, basically bottom here, and it will start to turn around and head back up, and that will add bullishness to this um, to this stock. The RSI is also bullish. The CCI is you know, turning around into bullish territory, and uh, MACD is also turning around and going to become bullish next week. So it is an encouraging sign. However, it's a question whether or not we can manage to take out uh, 217. If that is the case, then we go all the way up to 228 and then the all time highs. So, Apple. Apple is down 1.14% uh, today. We found um, major support here at the 20 exponential and then we rallied a little bit. If we look at the technical indicators, they are starting to look a little bit bearish, but because we got so much response support here at the 20 exponential i would not be surprised if we saw the stochastic turn around so that is a very encouraging sign i don't think that we're going very much lower than that we are going to bounce off this and then head towards these very highs first at the 126 and then the old time highs that is what i expect to happen here however if we break all the way down then the 100 moving average is an absolute floor in this market so Amazon, we have started to um, rally a little bit. This has been a dismal stock for many days now. We found support here at 3,078, and then we rallied a little bit. We have to get through these moving averages in order to go to these highs of 3,252, and then we'll go to 3,370, and then to 3,502 before we go to the all time highs. So there's a long move from where we are now to the all time highs that is roughly 14.4%. Uh, but technical indicators, they are looking, they're, they're looking bearish at this point, but they are going to turn around sometime next week. They have reached basically their bottom. For example, the stochastic, it will start to turn around now and add some bullishness into the stock. 
So look at Tesla. Tesla has, yeah, well, it is down 2.9%, nearly 3% today. And uh, at this point, I think that we are going to revisit the 20 exponential moving average yet again. So that is right at around 556. We're trading at uh, 608 at the moment. If we break 600, then we're going all the way down here. But expect a bounce because last time we were down here, it bounced and uh, and we rallied quite significantly. But these technical indicators are turning around. MACD is turning around. Stochastic is turning around. So is the uh, CCI. If uh, this continues, then we're going to see a uh, quite a big fall towards the 20 exponential, probably the 40 before we turn around. So I have no interest in basically selling this. Nobody probably should sell this because it is uh, it's no, almost a cold stock. It's a cold following of this, uh, of this stock. And, uh, and uh, people are willing to buy it at absurd prices. Even now, I would not be surprised if we rallied, took out the top here and head towards 700. So the lower it gets, the better the buying opportunity. So Facebook, we reached the very bottom, which is the Hunter moving average. And um, now we're going to head back up. This is the absolute bottom of this market, which is the Hunter moving average. And it's a possible buying opportunity. Uh, we just need to take out the 50 moving average. Then we're heading towards the 288 and then 297 for this stock. Uh, we may stay here for one more day, probably, just um, to um, get these technical indicators to turn around, and then we'll basically cross the 50 moving average. So absolutely not selling this. This is absolutely a buy at this point. So Google, we, have, we are trading underneath the 20 exponential moving average at this point. And uh, that is not a really good sign. However, I don't expect this to break down any, any, anytime soon. Probably down to the uh, 40 exponential, but that is probably as far as we'll go. So technical indicators for this are looking uh, mixed. Uh, RSI is uh, bullish, the CCI is negative, and the MACD is negative, and so is also the stochastic. So I do expect us to rally up towards these highs at 1847. Uh, and probably also take out those highs. The RSI is, is, is much lower now than it was. It was all up to be well, almost 90 at one stage. So we're at uh, 57 at this point, and um, that means there's a lot of room to the upside. So definitely not a seller. I'm a buyer in this stock. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. You're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and good weekend. Thank you.